week has been really really busy. I have been pre-filming a bunch of videos. Basically the next three videos that you're gonna see are being pre-filmed this week because it's my week off from work and I'm trying to be as productive as possible so that I can focus on the most important things. Those things pretty much being wrapping up all the loose ends for my summer school course etc. So yeah I'm pre-filming these videos. I'm gonna be wearing very similar clothes in the next three videos because I'm gonna utilize my time and try to be productive so that I'm not dying the next two weeks. Cool. So a couple weeks slash probably a month and a half or two ago, I kept getting comments regarding my thoughts on whether my German had improved since studying abroad. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about that today and as well as kind of give you some background knowledge on my experience learning German and just the history in regards to how I learned German up until this point. So the experience itself has been wonderful and enlightening and just all around a 10 out of 10 language learning experience. I think I have been fairly if not very successful learning this language, especially a language that is deemed a hard language. I started learning German when I was in high school. I went to a local public high school in Houston that specializes in foreign language. I believe the high school taught roughly 11 languages. There I was required to learn two foreign languages aside from the usual one year of a language that Texas requires at public high schools. At that high school I ended up taking Italian for four years and German for three and I had previously had experience taking Spanish for two years when I was in middle school, so between grades seven and eight. And this explanation is really more for those who live outside of the U.S., particularly for my German audience, because I know that a large portion of you are German and are interested to see a American's take on either the German language or the German culture or Germany in general. So for those of you who are interested, when you learn a language from top to bottom at an American public school, generally speaking, those languages are set up to be taught over the span of four years. I guess you could say each school year is split up into a different level of the European language brackets. So the first year would be like A1, the second year would probably be A1, A2, the third year would be A2, B1, and then the fourth year is just solidifying your B1 knowledge or pushing those students who are a little more advanced up to a low B2 level. At public high schools in America, you are generally not required to take all four years of the language, but rather only two or only one. In Texas, the requirement when I graduated was two years of foreign language. However, at my high school, I was required to take four years of one foreign language and minimum two years of a second foreign language. Another thing that is generally offered at American high schools is the opportunity to take AP examinations. And for those of you who don't know what an AP exam is, it's basically a large exam that you can take to test your competency in a subject and by receiving certain scores as well as depending on which university you go to you could actually receive college credit through those examinations. The AP language exams are broken up into a writing portion, a speaking portion, and a reading and comprehending portion if I remember correctly and they are very very intensive. I think they're like three or four hours long. It's a very very long and stressful test and as a student you spend sometimes months or even four years to prepare yourself for this exam. A German equivalent for this would probably be like Abitur, except that AP exams are not a required exam for you to apply for university, rather just something extra that you have the option to do in order to knock out college credits at your university so you can graduate faster. So I started taking German in 10th grade. I originally picked it because I was already learning Italian at the time and I didn't want to confuse myself with another romance language like French, so I decided to pick a language that was was in a completely different language tree from Italian itself. And also at the time, my relationship with my current boyfriend Sebastian was very, very young, and I thought that by taking German, if I did need help, I could ask my boyfriend to help me. I fell in love with the language and I exceeded very quickly in the language, so much so that I had found this new confidence in a subject that I never thought was going to be possible, and just a new passion for something that was very much outside of my comfort zone, but very much something that I wanted to achieve myself. I've always wanted to speak another language. I felt that it was important for me to either speak my own native language, Vietnamese, which I I should learn, I, I really should learn Vietnamese, but also just being able to speak another language and connect with people on a different level and understand different cultures, that's very important to me and I think that foreign language instruction is very important for students and their growth but also for the world and how we communicate with each other and connect with each other. But I also have to give credit to my German teacher. I had a very, very, very good German teacher who was very passionate about the language and about teaching as well as knew exactly how to teach it so that 
that an American could understand. My learning experience in high school was absolutely amazing. I think I made the right decision as somebody who is interested in learning foreign languages. I did come out of that school at least knowing one language. I had learned Italian for four years, but I'm not very good at Italian. <laughs> Much like I wasn't very good at Spanish. I think it's just romance languages that I just need to stop trying with because I don't think that's my language family that I need to be exerting myself in. But at the end of my first year learning German, because I started learning German in 10th grade, I wasn't going to be able to take my AP exam to get college credit for the German classes that I was taking. A part of me was really upset with myself because I wish I had started earlier so that I could get college credit for these language courses so I wouldn't have to take a language in college. <laughs> you know, when I still wanted to be a STEM major. We'll talk about that in a later video. The other side of me, the side that is constantly pushing me to do more, do more, do more, do more, was the side that told me that I needed to skip a level of language. So I did. I studied and learned the German grammar for that second year, that second level, with help of one of my really good friends. And I took a test at the end of the summer, scored really well, and I got to move up and skip a level entirely. So I went from learning German for the first year to going into the second year learning it as a third year German student, if that makes sense. So I skipped a level entirely. I went from level one to level three. And by doing that, by the end of my high school career, I was able to take the AP exam in order to test out of language credits so that I could breeze on through college. I'm not a language prodigy. I'm not somebody who grew up speaking German at home. I'm not somebody who lived in Germany for a lengthy period of time and at that time at all. I am a student that learned German at an American high school without ever stepping foot in Germany just simply because I had to take a second language and it ended up being a language that I fell head over heels in love with. I have a lot of people, both viewers and personal friends and family, who are really surprised at my ability to learn German and how much I've achieved in the language and that is the reason why the academic support that I received in high school and the academic support that I receive at the university level and as well as abroad really did help to mold and shape my German. So now, so many minutes later, we're going to talk about if I think my German has has improved. I think that aspects and elements of my German has improved. Otherwise, I think that if I thought it hadn't improved, that my time abroad essentially would have been a waste of time on my part. I studied abroad, of course, for the experience and to see the culture and to learn so much, but a lot of it was also for me professionally and personally. My professional goals for study abroad were really just to enhance my language knowledge and polish everything within my language skills and essentially achieve a high B2 understanding of German, which if you don't know what all the European levels are, basically it's like a lower advanced, high intermediate understanding of German. Truth be told, I, I think I did achieve it. That I still have things that I need to personally work on, but for the time that I spent there and the classes that I was taking, I took between B1 and B2 courses. I got glimpses of a C1 course, but I never really got to touch on that class material, which I think if I had the opportunity, I would have been able to improve my German even further. So now I'm kind of in this position where I have nowhere else to go within university because everything kind of stops at B2. So I have to personally go after C1 instruction within my university courses, as well as potentially go do private C1 instruction outside of university and pay the money to go do those classes so that I can achieve that level, which I will need to apply for master school, which I will talk about in another video. When I was abroad, I didn't learn a lot of new grammar because the grammar that I had learned both in high school and in university were being retaught again in my courses with USAC. So my time with USAC course-wise was a lot of review for me, which honestly was probably better for me because now I have a very, very, very solid understanding of German grammar. I learned a lot of really useful vocabulary, particularly for like everyday, activities, maybe like going to the doctor and being able to explain what's going on, things like how you order bread at a bakery. Those are things that I either learned in class or I learned on the way. So it changed my German skills from being classroom German and textbook German to being casual German or conversational German and being a little more natural. When I was in Germany, I also learned a lot of slang and German mannerisms so that I seemed a little more natural. And what I mean by slang and mannerisms, it's like, tja, or ach so, instead of, oh, 
or wieso denn instead of like warum or how to use alter in more casual conversation. You know, these are all things that you don't really learn in German class. These are things that you have to learn while you're there and absorbing all of this culture and all of this language and, you know, being all... Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> I've also been able to mostly eradicate my American accent when I'm speaking German. I slip up sometimes because there are some like letter intonations that are a little different when I read them. I'm like, oh, yep, yeah, that's how it's supposed to sound and that's not how it's supposed to sound. Most of the Leifana students that I met, they ended up just speaking English to me because the university takes in such a large number of international students, they just assumed that I couldn't speak German. And Germans wanting to practice their English, perfectly fine. I have no issues with that, like I totally get it when I'm here and I find a German speaker, I take every opportunity to practice my German. It didn't matter where I was, it didn't matter if I was talking to a Leifana student or I was in Hamburg or if I was traveling through Berlin, it did not matter where I was. I felt like a lot of people um, underestimated my German skills. So when I do speak German or when Germans speak English to me and I respond in German or they say something about me to somebody else and I respond in German, it really surprises them and I've often had people tell me I did didn't expect you, the American, or you as an American, to speak German so well and to understand so much. You know, I think a lot of Germans get surprised that somebody, particularly Americans, want to learn German. That that's something that they want to do and that they want to struggle through and that they want to stress about. That they could learn any other language in the world that are deemed beautiful languages, but the fact that they decided to learn German, that's a surprise to them. <laughs> but German programs, German learners, and German speakers are so few and far between, so it's really important that as an international student, I'm learning German so that I can also keep German alive and keep English from eating German alive. I think my German improved. I, I think that, that being around the German language and being around Germans and being in Germany really helped. I try to be as humble as possible. I don't know everything about German and I don't think I ever will know everything about German because again, languages are, are constantly growing and constantly changing and slang is changing, words are changing, spelling changes. And, but I think that's the beautiful thing about learning languages is that there will always be something to learn and then always something that you can do to help improve yourself. But, you know, in the process of improving my German, uh, it really screwed up my English. So now I'm putting commas everywhere and capitalizing everything. Thanks a lot, German. <laughs> but that is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about study abroad, about my German experience, or about me, leave a comment down below and I will be sure to answer it and I will try to make a video on it. But if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and hit that bell so you can get notifications on when I post a new video. I hope you all have a beautiful week and I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.